Last year, I took a trip to the east coast of Canada where I ended up discovering one of my favorite thrift stores of all time. And that's saying a lot considering just how much I thrift. The finds were so good, in fact, that this year I drove another 16 hours across Canada to the little province of New Brunswick just to revisit this store all over again. I mean, the priority on this trip was to visit family, but let's be real, thrifting was a close second. So buckle in because this trip includes seven different thrift stores, two garage sales, so you know it's going to be a good one. So we ended up arriving in the quaint little town of Caraquette that's completely surrounded by vast fields and cliff sides along the ocean, so different from Ontario. But first on the to-do list was of course the thrift store in question, Emmy Soleil. So I headed straight to the $1 rack, which they restock daily and immediately found this amazing vintage black skirt from the brand Vamp, which I absolutely love coming across. They just make the cutest little skirts and this one did not disappoint. Next on the dollar rack was this super cute Y2K top with the bedazzles on the front. So I thought I'd pick it up, then headed to the $3 skirt section where my mom was being a little bit of a silly goose. <laughs> and they just had the greatest selection of skirts. Like, I'm pretty sure all of the skirts I'm showing you actually had shorts underneath, which is just like so good. No. Then headed to the $5 dress section and immediately found the most stunning dress I have ever laid eyes on. Like the tag, I am dying, so good. Then when I thought it couldn't get any better, I stumbled upon this adorable pink milkmaid style dress, vintage with this beautiful paisley print throughout. Next, took a quick look at the men's tees and found this super cool bike week t-shirt. Got that vintage tag and loved the look of all this text on the back. Took a peek at the shoe section. The only thing that was really catching my eye were these sandals that were kind of cute, but I wasn't crazy about them. And these sandals, I love the platform and straps, but I ended up putting them back because I just wasn't crazy about them. Next, I found this gorgeous little vampy velvet sequence lace up top that I ended up giving to my sister. Took a little look at the sewing section, great selection of zippers and buttons. I would have gotten some, but honestly, I'm pretty stocked up on those. Then found these cutie little Nevada carpenter shorts. And that's just me checking out the home goods area. Look at this adorable strawberry bag, so cute. And this vintage juice container was so cool. It's actually from 1987, so truly vintage. I'm pretty sure all the glasses were 25 cents, yeah. No, actually 15 cents, even better. So I also grabbed these two Coke glasses that I thought were pretty neat. And here are all my beautiful finds from this first stop. And then as we were checking out, Irina showed me her haul. She got this hat, that top from earlier, this adorable score, but then I was next in line, so I had to cut it there. Next on the list was another familiar shop called Le Dixième V that I visited last year. This one is more of a cross between like a thrift store and a bit of a vintage shop. This one's also cash only. This one's also First found this really cool Harley Davidson top that Ariana actually ended up getting. $4, not bad. Then found this little blue racing quarter zip sweater. Really cute, but I wasn't obsessed with it, so I put it back. Found these really cute vintage sandals. If they had more of a platform, I would have 100% gotten them. This wiener dog little trinket was so cute. I don't know what it was supposed to be, like bookends. I almost got it, but it ended up staying here. Then I ventured into the jeans section, which is quite extensive. They have such an amazing selection of vintage, particularly like Y2K styles, like these bedazzled Harley jeans, for example. Incroyable. Then it was Ariana's turn to be a silly goose with this doll that she was like puppeteering. <laughs> Here's a closer look at some of the jean selection. So for example, we have some Hollywood branded jeans, these dead stock silver jeans with no pockets and a nice flared leg. So much dead stock branded with tags, like Twinelle would have a field day in here. 
A new day calls for some new thrift stores. So on this day, we actually had to drive over to Moncton. So me and my mom decided to see what the thrift stores had to offer in this area, starting with the Salvation Army. First thing I spotted was this gorgeous vintage floral dress with the ties on the sides from the brand Accomplice, one of my fave brands to pick up, but it was $14.99. I was shocked by the prices here. Like this is Toronto Value Village type pricing, so it kind of turned me off. Okay, honestly, I don't really know what I was seeing in this next dress, but another vintage item. These request jean shorts were super cute but I left them behind because they were really, really short. This vintage floral needlepoint vest was stunning. The tag was so good, but I just ended up leaving it behind. So we hopped on over next door to the Mission Thrift, which I had higher hopes for. 50% on all clothing. Uh, it's only on Saturday. This angel needlepoint tote bag was adorbs. Honestly, probably should have got it. This vintage bikini was pretty cute, but not my size. Another little vintage floral summer dress. At this point, I was a little discouraged because the selection was honestly underwhelming, but I was hoping this next store would make up for it because next we hit up the Guy Frenchies. I was so excited to visit here because a few of my friends and viewers on the East Coast had mentioned it. So it was kind of hyped and this was the price list. I love a thrift store that just has set prices for items. I always usually have the best of luck in dresses. So I checked there first and found this vintage dress, which was really giving like a bloquette core with the sporty mesh, but also, you know, it was like in a dress form. But ultimately I decided against it because it just looked a little too like fast fashion-y. Then I found these DKNY red cargo pants that were pretty cool. They had the ties on the bottom, but I ended up passing. This pastel sweater was pretty cute. Same with the grandma sweater, but I definitely have enough of those. And I can't believe it as much as probably you guys, but I ended up leaving Moncton that day without a single article of clothing. So after that unsuccessful day, the thrifting itch still needed a scratch. So we went back to Old Faithful to see if they had any new gems in stock since we last visited. First, we grabbed this cute brown floral summer dress off the $1 rack. Another vintage $1 dress. Just wasn't totally my style. <laughs> Yet another simple vintage floral dress, which I was kind of just getting tired of them. And this dress was pretty cool. Love the patchwork vibe, but I don't think it was vintage. Another dress, I just wasn't totally in love with the style. This next dress was super cute from Le Chateau. Wasn't vintage, but I almost bought it for myself, but it wasn't my size, so I left that behind. Went back to the men's t-shirts and found this vintage mousse one, but I just wasn't crazy about it. Next, we headed to another familiar thrift store I actually visited last year called Fripperi à Tongue. They also had a $1 rack outside that had this pretty vintage blouse. So I had a look through the rest of there. Then we ventured inside where I found these really cool vintage Lewis jean shorts for only $5. Love the back. This pretty blue floral dress and this really cool striped button down. After this, we drove a little further to check out this shop called Fripperie Secours Amitié that was recommended to us. This place definitely had more of a classic thrift store vibe. This Planet Hollywood glass was pretty cool. And I absolutely love this gold sun little mini mirror for only two bucks. Some more, say it with me, vintage floral dresses. This one by the brand Periscope. This vintage bikini top was so cute. I would have totally gotten it if it was my size. Like the little sunflower, so cute. Then found my first gem, which was this fun neon orange Nevada tank. Such a little Y2K vibe. These garage jeans were cute, very Y2K once again. But then I found the most amazing Y2K skirt from the brand Bongo. It had the coolest little like buckly details on the sides, so cool and really loved these vintage cargo shorts, but I think they were a little overpriced, so I didn't end up getting them. But that is okay because I did not leave that store empty-handed. 
And lastly, we weren't planning on making any more stops, but when you're driving by a garage sale, you just kind of have to stop and check it out. So this lady had a really good mix of clothes and trinkets in her garage. And I actually ended up walking away with some amazing vintage Levi's for only two bucks. So what a great way to end the thrift trip. And before I knew it, we were back on the road, headed home. Okay, so I am back from the East Coast. My trip was super fun. I just love it there. It's like a whole different lifestyle and like being near the water and stuff. And of course the thrifting there is immaculate. So I have a pretty big haul for you guys, 14 different pieces that I'm going to show you, all of them vintage. And usually I go by category of like tops, bottoms, that kind of thing. But I think this time I'm going to go in order of like when I purchased them and like what stores they're from. So let's start with the first stop on the trip, which was at Amni Soleil. As you guys know, I think it is probably my favorite thrift store of all time, just because how many vintage gems are in there considering the store is quite small and the prices are very good. And I think we're just gonna get into it and start with probably my best finds of the whole trip, which are the dresses. The first dress I found is such a dream and it is this one. This is this beautiful pink kind of paisley sleeveless milkmaid style mini dress. It is so beautiful and like such a 90s dress. I immediately knew this was a gem when I saw it on the rack because it's just so beautiful and it's so funny because it actually looks so similar to one of my mom's old vintage dresses from the 90s that I actually recreated, which is actually this one right here. You can kind of see the resemblance, but I absolutely love the style of this dress. I honestly would have kept it, but I think it just fits a little bit weird on me, but it is so gorgeous. And this is from the brand RR Line and it is of course made in Canada. So, so stunning and all the dresses at Emmy Soleil are $5 which is such a steal. The next dress I got, I think is probably my favorite find of the entire trip. And the fact that I just found it on the first day, so good. But it is this dress. Once again, a little sleeveless mini dress, this time with this beautiful like navy blue floral print throughout. You guys know how I feel about my florals. And it just has like a really stunning little v-neck cut. It's really simple, but I just feel like the fit of it is so good. Not to mention it has adjustable straps for that perfect fit. Yeah, this is just like right up my alley. So my vibe. It is actually from the vintage brand La Belle and it's made in USA, so extra special. So this is stunning. I think I'm gonna have to keep this for myself just of how good it is. My sister has already <laughs> worn it since I bought it, so. The next dress I picked up from Emmy Soleil is this one. This is once again a beautiful sleeveless floral dress, this time in more of a brown color. It has this really fun like crinkly texture to it, and I think this one's more of a midi length. But what really caught my eye is kind of like the v-neck detail here with the little ruching and the tie. I just thought that was really cute, really unique. The tag has unfortunately been cut out, but I am fairly certain that this is a vintage piece. Oh, maybe not. Wait, I just found the tag. Made in Vietnam. Probably not vintage now that I see this, but still very cute considering that I actually got this one for only a dollar. I originally saw this piece on the first day when it was just in the regular dress rack and I was kind of eyeing it, but I wasn't crazy about it. But then when I came back for the second time and saw that it ended up on the $1 rack, I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's go for it. So even though this is probably not vintage or not as old as I thought it was, can't go wrong for a dollar. Next up, I picked up a couple more skirts from Amie Soleil. The first one is this one. This is just kind of like this basic black midi dress, but it is a little bit unique because it does kind of like ruffle out at the bottom and have this really cute tie on the front. But the main reason that I picked it out is because it is from the vintage brand Vamp, which is one of my favorite vintage brands to pick up just because I love that vampy vibe. I don't know what to say. Oh, I just found that made in Canada tag. So that is a bonus. And once again, picked this one up off the dollar rack. So can't go wrong with that. Next up for skirts, I picked up this one. This is this really adorable darker wash blue denim little mini skirt. It's really, really simple. Doesn't really have a waistband, but has two little pockets on the front. We got some side slits on the sides and then just a little zip closure on the back. What I really like about it is it continues as a skirt all the way around, but then does have the shorts underneath. So you have the look of a skirt, but the comfort of a skirt. And this one is from the brand Nevada. Definitely a brand that I've been picking up a lot over the years. And I originally was not intending on keeping this for myself, 
but when I tried it on, it ended up fitting me perfectly and I realized I don't really have a good solid denim skirt that's like more simple like this. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. And then last from a Soleil, I picked up a couple tops. The first one I picked up is this one. This is just such a Y2K vibe. It's kind of like this cool blue. I don't even know what to call this print. You just know that Y2K, like almost newspaper style print. And then just has some bedazzling on the front. I just thought this was such a Y2K piece. And once again, it was on the dollar rack. Probably wouldn't have picked it up if it was full price, but for a dollar, like you can't beat it. And this one's from the brand Kelso Fashion. And then the last thing I ended up picking up from Amy Soleil, don't worry, we have many more thrift stores to get to, but I ended up picking up this t-shirt. This is just this really cool vintage, washed out black graphic tee. It just says 61st annual Sturgis bike week with a motorcycle and then the big American flag there. And then the text just continues on the back as well. I feel like it really gives off the vibes of a Harley Davidson shirt without it actually being Harley Davidson. And once again, was not planning on keeping this shirt, but I kind of just started wearing it while I was on my trip and realized just how comfy and kind of how perfect it is as just like an oversized graphic tee. So once again, I think this one's ending up in my wardrobe. It was only three bucks and it is vintage made in USA. It's actually from 2001, so it's cool to know the exact year. So very, very cool. This is definitely gonna be like my staple summer graphic tee. So moving right along, the next thrift store we ended up hitting up was called Fripperie à Tongue. And this is actually a thrift store we visited last year. And what's really unique about it is it's just this lady, she runs it out of her house and that's kind of how she supports her family. So last year I found some really good pieces from there and this year I found some as well. So I was very happy to be able to support again. I ended up picking up three different things because she was having like a buy two, get the third free kind of sale. So that was really good. The first thing I picked up, it's just this really nice cream colored short sleeve button down shirt with some really fun like burgundy and blue stripes. I absolutely love like layering these types of shirts in the summer. I think it's just such a good look. And although it's not made of linen, it really kind of has that linen-y texture to it, which is really nice. And this one's vintage from the brand Alfred Dunner. And I really like this one because it's a little more aligned with like menswear, which is something I kind of skimp out on. I'm always like looking for dresses and skirts. So it's nice to have a little bit more of a variety. Next thing I picked up is this dress. This is just this really beautiful navy blue short sleeve mini dress that just buttons down the front and has this beautiful floral print throughout. This is just like so up my alley. I feel like I've purchased so many of these types of dresses before and I absolutely love that it just has the tie up strings in the back for that perfect fit. And this one's from the brand French Country. Absolutely love that tag, so adorable. And once again, not linen, but just kind of has that linen-y texture or kind of like that wrinkly feel that I really like. And then the last item I ended up picking up from that shop are these shorts. They're just these really nice light wash blue vintage shorts. They're like perfectly, perfectly worn in with just like a cut off raw hem. And then the back is really nice with, with just some vintage stitching and actually like a nice leather patch at the back. These ones are from the brand Lois. They're vintage, made in Canada. It's so funny because I never see that brand in Ontario, but I actually picked up, I think it was a pair of shorts from her shop last year from the exact same brand. So very interesting how like once you travel, you start seeing things that you would never see at home. But yeah, I just thought these were a great staple classic short for the summer to add to my shop. And all three of those things came out to three bucks each. So once again, can't go wrong. Then next up, we headed into a different town to go visit another thrift store. This one was called Fripperie Secour Amitié. And I ended up picking up two things from that store. The first one being this top. This is just this super cool, bright, bright orange tank top with just the coolest little ring, like ruche detail on one of the sleeves. And then just Nevada embroidered on the chest there. I just thought this shirt was so fun. Such like a Y2K vibe, like the color, the cut of it, everything. And I feel like it's hard to find like really unique tank tops. So this one I definitely had to snag. And like I said, it is from the brand Nevada definitely like a y2k piece and then the second item i ended up picking up which i think would just be like 
such a sleigh outfit together is this skirt this is just this like mid-wash blue denim mini skirt it's quite mini it's got these really unique buckle details all along the sides which just gives it like such a grungy feel and then just a leather patch at the back which come on i just realized like the little logo here is orange which like totally matches the orange of the shirt like this fit was meant to be and this skirt is from the brand bongo such a good y2k brand and i just think it's so awesome very kind of like on trend i did notice when i got home it has like a little bit of a bleach stain there but i don't think that'll be too much of an issue so such a cute little y2k outfit from that shop and then the lastly there are always like a ton of garage sales out and about out there definitely a lot more on the weekends but as we were driving home from the last thrift store, we just kind of stumbled upon these other garage sales and I got some very good finds from them. The first one being this pair of Levi's jeans. These are just this more lighter wash blue jean with a high waist and a fairly straight leg. It's technically the slim fit, but the taper is very, very subtle. And then at the back, you know, classic Levi's patch, red tab, you know the drill. So when I walked into like the garage sale, these were like the first things I spotted. They are quite worn in, I'll admit. Like we got a lot of discoloring and we have a few little stains. But when the lady said they were only two bucks, I was like, no problem. I'll take those off your hands because they are actually vintage made in Canada. So very cool find for such a steal. And then we kind of have a little theme going on here because the next item I picked up from actually a different garage sale is this Levi's little matching long sleeve top. It's just this really nice light wash blue button down long sleeve shirt. We've got nice big pockets in the front with the little Levi's tab right here on the chest. Of course, I'm always attracted to the Levi's. This one's vintage, it's made in Hong Kong, so probably more of like a late 90s, probably early 2000s style, but still really cool. It does too have quite a bit of stains on the front, but I picked it up for only $3, so I didn't think it was that much of a big deal. So once again, a little outfit right here, and I actually already ended up selling these in a bundle. One of my followers on Instagram saw me like post about them and was interested. So. Those sold quick, but as do most Levi's. So those are all the clothes that I ended up thrifting on my little trip to the East Coast. This might become like an annual kind of trip thing. So stay tuned for next year. You know, I'm going back to the same thrift stores again because they just hit different. And as always, most of these things will be for sale. I don't think I'll get a chance to list these before this video comes out. So if you see anything you like, feel free to just send me a little DM on Instagram. We can work something out. But if you're just here to watch the thrifting, then I definitely recommend sticking around and subscribing because I post a new thrifting video every single week. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.